Okay. Um, if anyone saw that, uh, which hopefully you would have, uh, I fell. Uh, I fell off near the end bit there where I was. I fell off near the end bit where the safe was, or the vault thing, whatever you want to call it. Got thrown way back to do the ice things, then glitched on the third one, was able to able to stop there without it being there, and then was able to complete this within 0 0.1 seconds. It's not a record, but it's like, I call that a record for being the shortest amount of time. But yes, this is the Sly Sprint, this should be my last, last, my last, last, my last Sly Sprint. Sorry. My ladders. <laughs> Let's go, to, uh, this should be my last sprint, and um, we'll see how it goes. If yeah. Excellent, Sly! You've beaten all the Master Thief sprints and unlocked all the designer's commentary. Check out this fascinating behind-the-scenes movie! <laughs> How should I describe Sly Cooper? Charismatic, suave, debonair, cool, slick, fast, stealthy, athletic, just a daredevil. Sly Cooper is charming thievery. We started with the idea that we wanted to do an action game where the, the primary character was a thief. The choice of a raccoon was a pretty natural fit in terms of you know, obviously the, the mask being in place, um, being, uh, as Dev would say, a creature of the night. We very early on wanted to make a game that looked and felt like a cartoon, but was st one step closer to realism rather than flattened graphic. We started experimenting with different ways we could bring this character to life, uh, cell shading, how to make it feel like a cartoon but still feel like a great 3D game. We wanted it to actually look like it was inked and painted, and we want the backgrounds to be you know, really lush and have a painted, a painted look, so it looks like it's a, a living, animated episode that you've been thrown into. When you look at the game initially, the first thing that draws you in is the beautiful art style and the lush, very, very lush uh, look of the environments. But when you actually play the game, the gameplay itself is lush as well. <laughs> The original conception of uh, the Sly character uh, was a much more realistic raccoon, chubby and not quite as lithe as the character is now, and it kind of evolved as we went along. Once we got to that part where he kind of evolved into what he is now, um, my main job was to take him and try to put every bit of thiefiness into him that I could. He was kind of tiptoeing and he's really like rearing back to like ease his foot forward trying to keep all his weight back so his foot falls softly on the ground and really try to, to hone his personality through subtleties in the movement and really try to push the thiefiness. As we wanted Sly to feel really agile, we wanted him to feel like Sly could do uh, the most amazing physical feats. You want to let the player of the game feel like they're a thief, not like a real thief, like you wish thieves were. Sly Cooper's story is really cool. He comes from a long line of super raccoon thieves. And the source of their kind of thieving greatness is this book called The Thievius Raccoonus. It's this incredibly valuable heirloom that is stolen from Sly's family when he's very young. He has come of age and now he feels it's his noble duty to take back the Thievius Raccoonus. Sly has two buddies, Bentley and Murray. Bentley provides a lot of the plans for their missions. He does a lot of things that are very important for Sly to complete his missions. Murray has a huge case of, of Sly envy. He wants to be Sly in the worst possible way, and he has absolutely none of the capabilities to do it. A hero is only as good as his villains. We wanted to create villains, you know, making them dangerous, making them menacing, making them goofy, just giving them as much personality as, as Sly Cooper. Yeah. 
it's a super high bar um, being in the action adventure category. I mean, all of the greatest games, the best games that are out there are all action adventures. The genre is such that you have to really excel in every single phase of the game. Going from saying Sly should be sneaky to actually having him feel sneaky in the game is hard. You have to start and you have to get the animation right, then you have to figure out how the engine's going to play the animation and how it gets affected by where he is and what he's doing and how the player can feel in control at the same time. People are doing shoot 'em ups and, and things with, you know, big weapons and things like that. And this had this is all about character. So you can like, get the feeling of I you know, I am sly and I'm I'm sneaking around. Anytime we can exploit anything in the environment, build it in a way that, you know, as Sly's running over it might seem more stealthy, we completely exploit that. And our golden rule is whatever is thiefier wins. If you want to make a game that looks different, the PS2 gives you the opportunity to do that. As a programmer, it has a ton of tools for doing, for solving all sorts of different types of technical problems. A big focus for us um, has been in getting our tool set to the point where the artists were really unconstrained. Artists will come to us with, they want the game to look this way, or boy, can we have a line around all the characters, um, the cell shading that we do, or how can we do the lighting models so that things that are bright have certain colors on them. And they have a, a lot of really cool ideas, and uh, I and the other people on the programming team work on trying to get the technology put in place so that um, so that we can you know, make those ideas happen. What we were able to do was put together our own lighting algorithm in the vector units and then do the same thing for the cell borders that we put around all our characters. We could get it to all run super fast and have it all look different than other games. That was really our goal from the start was to have a game which looked different. It's been an interesting process building a team to build a game like this. It's been great working with such a dedicated group of people. I've, I've never really ever worked with a group I think is as hardcore as this. It really does require unbelievably talented artists, unbelievably talented programmers, and unbelievably talented Designers, I think, have done a wonderful job of giving players the experience of sneaking and being a thief and at the same time making the designs accessible to people so that you don't need to be a super gamer in order to play it, although there are tons of things that are in the game for those people. We're making a game that anyone can play. You can't just have great art, you can't just have great code, you can't just have great characters, you gotta have it all. It's not about just how the game looks, it's about how the game plays and how how the player experiences it, and it's all about having fun. You can make a really cool character, but if he's not fun to play, it's not worth doing. Sly is cool, he's collected, he's adventurous. Sly is Sly. It is not a misnomer. So, yeah, that's the uh, behind the scenes documentary thing. <laughs> Sorry, there we go. Um, so let's see what, what did Bentley have? The Tokyo ending? Is that the Japanese? Oh no! Lacuna no Hidensho Yatsura no Tekara Ubai Kaisko to the Dekita Tekotoda. Diabolic Five no Renchu, Lori, Magushotto, Mizu Ruby, Panda King, so she, Krok Beruk, Tatakaiwa Lakuja Nagatana. やっと秘伝書が本来の持ち主の手に戻ってきたってわけだな。もちろん、ここまで来れたのは頼れる仲間たちがいたからこそだ。二人とも大変だったろう。本当に感謝してるよ。え、まあね。初めのうちは無理して
いや正直ちょっともったいないとも思ったんだけどさでもなまたカルマリータとは近いうちに会えそうな気がするんだ